Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to MB Tech Talker. My name's Matt. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure Global Protect pre-logon using a machine certificate. So this lab is a continuation of my Global Protect portal and gateway configuration video. So don't forget to watch that video first. What is pre-logon? Well, Global Protect pre-logon does exactly that. It allows Global Protect to connect before the user logs into the machine this is particularly useful when there is a requirement for the machine to run scripts or connect to internal resources while the OS is booting up, or even when at the login screen before the user authenticates. Pre-logon is most commonly used in conjunction with user logon and SSO, so that the global protect connection is seamless to the user. In essence, we are dealing with two users, pre-logon and the actual user. So separate client configs need to be created under the portal configuration. One for the pre-logon user and another for the user or user group. Additionally, separate security rules are also needed to provide access for these two users. Once the actual user is connected to Global Protect, i.e. user logon, the user will see a disable option, if allowed by the admin, to disable the Global Protect application when needed. So to successfully configure pre-logon, at least one of the three conditions need to be met. Number one, the portal contains a certificate profile, but no auth cookies enabled. Number two, the portal does not contain a certificate profile, but has auth cookies enabled. So if a user has never logged into Global Tech and is attempted to use pre-logon for the very first time, the user will need to log in in order to generate a cookie. And that will mean all subsequent pre-logons will be successful. And then number three, the portal contains both a certificate profile and auth cookies enabled. We're going to use option number three in this lab today. Okay, so I've already logged into the firewall. Within the portal agent configuration, we need two client configs. So we'll create a new one for the pre-logon, and then we'll use the existing MB Tech security team config for the actual users themselves. Okay, so let's start the lab by going to the network tab. Then under global tech, we're going to go to portals and I'm going to click on my MB Tech portal and we go to the agent section and here I'm going to add a new pre-logon config so let's give it a name MB Tech users pre-logon uh, client certificate no save user credentials as default yes authentication override I'm going to tick both these boxes generate a cookie for authentication override and accept cookie for authentication override then we need to um, select a certificate to encrypt and decrypt the cookie so i'm just going to use the existing global tech gateway portal certificate then in the config selection criteria we're going to be changing um, this for um, from any to pre-logon and then in the external tab, we need to specify the gateway. So we've only got one gateway, which is on the same file as the portal. So I'm just gonna give it the same name, which is MB Tech Gateway. And we're gonna be using an IP, which is gonna be 192.168.21.250, which is the external interface of the firewall. So ethernet one slash one. So obviously in a uh, production environment, uh, I'll be using a, a fully qualified domain name matching the certificate's common name or the subject alternative name. Um, and then in the source region, we need to click add and then we're going to change that to any and then we can click OK. Um, and then in the app tab, we need to change the connect method um, from uh, user log on always on to pre log on, pre -log on always on and then click OK. Um, and then next thing we need to do is just mirror the config in the uh, MB Tech security team um, config by ticking the two um, authentication override boxes, specifying the same um, certificate. We've already um, got this set up. Config selection criteria is just set to any. External gateway is the same. Um, and what we need to do now is change the connect method to um, pre-log on always on and then you can just make sure that single sign on 
Windows is set to yes, by default it is, and then we can click OK on that. And finally, we need to make sure that the pre-logon configuration is above the actual user's configuration. So we're just going to take that and then move up and then we can click OK. Next, we need to configure a client certificate profile. So let's head over to the device tab and then under certificate management, we're looking for a certificate profile. Then we're going to click add. So the certificate profile specifies a list of CAs and intermediate CAs. When this certificate profile is applied to the config, the portal and gateway will send a client certificate request to the machine to request a client or machine cert signed by the CA or intermediate CA specified in the cert profile. It's recommending place, placing both the root and intermediate CAs in this profile instead of just the root CA. That's if you're using both. If not, the root CA will be fine. Okay, so just for a bit of clarity, a client certificate refers to a user cert. It can be used for user logon or on-demand connection methods, which is used to authenticate a user. Whereas a machine cert refers to a device certificate. This can be used for pre-logon. This is used to authenticate a device, not a user. Okay, so let's call this device cert profile. And in the CA certificates, we need to click add, and then we're going to import the root CA. And then click OK, and then click OK. So let's go back to the network tab. And then the global tech, we're going to gateways. So as you can see, we already have the MB tech gateway configured. We just need to change the gateway authentication settings so that it can check the machine certificate to allow pre logon to work. So let's open that and then let's go to authentication. Uh, and down here at the bottom, you can see certificate profile. We need to change that to the profile we created a few moments ago. And then we need to go to the agent tab and then click on client settings. And then we're going to click on the MB Tech Security Team. And we need to enable both the authentication override settings like we did in the portal. And then we need to select the correct certificate, so the existing Global Tech Gateway Portal certificate. And then we can click OK and then OK and we can commit the changes. Okay, so now we're ready to test from the Windows 10 client. I'm going to log in with a user that hasn't connected to Global Tech before. So the user we're going to use is secadmin1. Now this machine is not on the local network, so it's acting like an internet machine. So I've connected it to essentially to my home um, internet. Uh, and it's going to be connecting to the portal address on the 192.168.21.250. As you can see, pre-login is not working straight away. As discussed before, I'm going to need to authenticate first to be able to generate those cookies. So I'm going to log in with sec admin. And we're connected. So now what should happen is when we log in again, after this point, pre-login should work and we won't need to enter our username and password again. So we're gonna test that. So I'm gonna log out. And then I'm gonna click on it. Sign in options. And as you can see, Global Tech status is connected and we're connected to the gateway. So we're going to take a look at the logs on the firewall and see what actually happened. Okay, so back at the firewall on the monitor tab, looking at the Global Tech logs. If you take a look at these first three logs down here at the bottom, this is where we manually entered the username and password on the Windows 10 client to establish that first uh, Global Tech tunnel. Um, um, which was successful. Then we logged out 
of the Windows 10 machine to simulate a pre-logon situation. And this is where the pre-logon took over from SecAdmin, um, which was also successful. The authentication method was cookie authentication. This will be used going forward for any subsequent pre-logon connections. And then what I did off camera is then re-log back in as SecAdmin1. This renamed the uh, source user. Uh, and then we are established, the tunnel is established as the real user again. So this has been a successful lab. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Over the next coming weeks, I will be uploading more videos where I will be sharing more content about Palo Alto firewall features and technologies and how to configure them. If you like this video, I'm sure you know what to do by now. But just in case you don't, please hit that like button below and share with your friends and be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified every single time I post a new video. If you have any ideas of video content you want me to create, please put them in the comments below as I would love to hear your feedback on any aspect of my channel. Please keep watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.